Well, India is now the fifth largest economy in the world, and it's overtaken the UK in becoming that. It's also got uh, a population of 1.3 billion people, with nearly half of them under the age of 25. So it's got a huge need and appetite to uh, educate and skill its, its own workforce. Uh, but broader than that, for Australia, we have some of the world best education uh, institutions. So there's a really good partnership for both Australia and India in helping India meet its, its education needs and Australia meeting some of its skill shortages needs. Only seven years ago, uh, only about 19% uh, of Indians had access to the internet. That now, seven years later, has changed to 60% and it, and it is growing and that just shows you the incredible digital transformation of India. It has, you know, a number of startups, the largest startup ecosystem in the world that's third to other countries. And on top of that, it has now something like over 100 unicorns. So that digital transformation of India's economy uh, is something that I think Australia, again, can really partner with India on because it goes into all sorts of sectors such as edtech and fintech uh, med tech. And one thing we've seen out of the COVID pandemic is the digital uh, economies are really going to be part of the future of, of ensuring we can deliver services adequately and efficiently. I think India really sees itself as a growing regional power. It wants to have more strategic partners with countries it has like-minded uh, interests with. And Australia is clearly one of those. We have common interests with India in wanting to see the Indo-Pacific region be a, an area that is peaceful and stable. And so India's engagement in the Quad with other countries of Japan and the US and Australia is so significant because together we can actually address some of the, the shared global challenges that we face. They may be in more of the security space, in, in peace and stability in our region, but they may also be in the areas of climate change. India really wants to ensure that it's uh, energy generation that it very much needs to focus on into the future and also meet its net zero emissions targets. So Australia wants the same. I think we can see in, in the climate space, we've got a lot of work we can do together. India is also a country that ha is surrounded by small island states and uh, it really wants to have a, a stronger security relationship with those states and support those states. Australia similarly has uh, the Pacific Islands uh, as part of our neighbourhood and we want to really work and support and partner with those countries on the areas that are, are important to them. Climate change is another one of those, so environmental security is definitely an area Australia and India can work more closely together.